Welcome back folks, I'm Luke Third. I'm going to the next part of Parasite Eve 2 and we're going to head out to Dryfield. Uh, there might have been a little bump before this, uh, just where I got a extra item from the battles, battle area. But this is the proper start of the episode. And we're heading out to Dryfield. Yep, one of them kind of towns, folks. It's one of those one horse towns, as you'd call it in America, and it looks like the horse left the town. And uh, comes equipped with handgun bullets. Right, so I actually have a choice. I can use the handgun, but I think uh, oh, range is actually well, yeah, of course. Rifle's got the best range, but a rate of firing weight's heavier. The heavier the weight, the slower the draw of the weapon, basically. I'll give the shotgun a try. And I'll equip the pistol just in case. And exchange that. Sorry folks, just give me a sec. Bookshot, goggles, handgun, GPS. Right, no healing items. So actually, let's go to the Parasite Energies. So, I only glanced over it when I actually reactivated energy shot but this is what you use your EXP for now so you can unlock them you revive them it tells you what it does how much it'll cost 14 MP uh, time of 38 ATP and whilst these things are casting you're immobile so we have pyrokinesis combustion and we do all have a third what I want is to get healing EXP costs 750 to bring it back. Casting costs 12. Yes. And metabolism or antibody? I'll get antibody. <coughs> and yeah, it tends to be your first one costs 500 and your second one always costs 750. Yeah, I'll get necrosis. Right. Let's get investigating. Gasoline. No time to fill up now. Ooh, spooky, scary. Public fun. 75 cents. So basically be nice to the locals. What the heck? Huh. And these things charge. Yep. Oh, 
And that's the BA-3. The BA-3 is an alright shotgun, but so little ammunition. Oh, and that's what happens. Whoa, when did my health get... Did that just... Huh. Alright, best heal myself then. <laughs> that must have got me the first time I didn't notice. Room one, nobody's home. I think there's items in all these rooms, so I shall check every one of them out. Well, no TV, it's got a channel dial. Right, yes. Pay attention to those, uh... These. They help you with a puzzle. Because I can cheat because I have my little notes I made when I first played through the game. Don't want to go through that yet. Nobody's home, except an NMC. And it blew up. Ah, oh, I didn't equip any ammunition in it. Ah, uh, dope. really sucking right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. That could have gone better. It's just I'm running out of uh, bookshot rounds rather quick. Right, let's not do that mistake again. My god, uh, what was that she said? My god, what's that something floating in the bottom of the pan? Is someone in that shop? Someone's gotta be. Penicillin. Nothing else left. An old portrait. Why Earth? The things that hurt uh, mortals have hanging up on their walls. And room three is locked. And so is far, one would presume. Hmm. An old well. Damn it! Get off. How 
How many more of these things are there? Burn them all. Combat light. Uh, now that works just like the flashlight, if I think. It's a... Uh... Yep. It's just a one quick... Uh... Quick fire. And I'm out of shotgun shells after these three. What is down there? <laughs> Douglas scrapyards, erasers are ever at a drafting table. Hmm. I think. No, not that. Examine. Nothing happened. I'll come back to that. Where's the breaker? Now that's... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Turn some power back onto there. But I don't want to go in here yet. I think I need to go back. Well, I want to have a look at the other place anyway, so... Let's see what else is out this door. Maybe more enemies. Oh no! Whee! A wooden fence is blocking the way. Uh, yeah, and you see the red dot, that's uh, obviously I've got to head there. But I want to go through here first. Hmm, it's a little quiet. Sweet. One, I'm talking like pressing on the Jeep, but all right, it's an abandoned motorcycle. Looks closed, it's still closed. Oh, great. And we're back to normal. Ooh, 
Is there an item there? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep looking at it. Four seems like overkill. Hmm. Could be busy. I think that's it. There's no items in here. Upstairs. See if I can get into any room on this uh, this floor. It's locked. Uh, room 6 is the room that I get, I believe, at some point later. And the loft is locked. Right, well, back to the garage then. Everywhere now is pretty much locked up tight. Turn it around. And how slow is this? I can leave it there because we open up this gate here. And then I think I think I can press that switch right now. Right, and now I'll turn the car back around. And you could drop it down if you wanted, but meh. Makes no difference. A very nice red truck. The FBI. They always have the right. M I S T. Oh, but thanks for blowing it out straight into the open eye. Yep, a few got killed and others ran. Small town. Not even a town, but a village. 
Yeah, I could, but I ain't got the time. Mr. Douglas is pretty badass. And yes, his name's Mr. Douglas, I already know this. <laughs> Hell, even the manual tells you his name, though. Him and his pooch flint. Yeah, and if you're wondering what that sort of springy noise is, he actually has a prosthetic leg. And we will actually... Who wouldn't like your truck? the room a quick cursory check because it does get uh, full of enemies and I'm sure there's some some in the barrel or something uh, maybe not oh there is some items in here Maybe that's after this scene. But either way, folks, I've been Loomly Third. Thanks for watching this part, and I'll see you in the next bit. See you later.